Today we are discussing questions and answers for Microsoft Administering Relational Databases DP300. You can download the complete list of Microsoft based questions from the link provided in the description. Our question is, you have SQL Server on an Azure Virtual Machine that contains a database named DB1. DB1 contains a table named Customer PII. You need to record whenever users query the Customer PII table. Which two options should you enable? Each correct answer presents part of the solution. Option A Server Audit Specification Option B SQL Server Audit Option C Database Audit Specification Option D A Server Principle Correct answer is Option A and Option C. Our next question is you have an Azure Virtual Machine based on a custom image named VM1. VM1 hosts an instance of Microsoft SQL Server 2019 standard. You need to automate the maintenance of VM1 to meet the following requirements. Automate the patching of SQL Server and Windows Server. Automate full database backups and transaction log backups of the databases on VM1. Minimize administrative effort. What should you do first? Option A. Enable a system assigned managed identity for VM1. Option B. Register VM1 to the Microsoft.SQL resource provider. Option C. Install an Azure Virtual Machine desired state configuration DSC extension on VM1. Option D. Register VM1 to the Microsoft.SQL. SQL Virtual Machine Resource Provider. Correct answer is option B. Our next question is you receive numerous alerts from Azure Monitor for an Azure SQL database. You need to reduce the number of alerts. You must only receive alerts if there is a significant change in users pattern for an extended period. Which two actions should you perform? Option A set threshold sensitivity to high. Option B set the alert logic threshold to dynamic. Option C set the alert logic threshold to static. Option D set threshold sensitivity to low. Option E set force plan to on. Correct answer is option B and option D. Our next question is you have an Azure SQL database named SQLDB1. You need to minimize the amount of space by the data and log files of SQLDB1. What should you run? Option A, DBCC shrink database. Option B, SP underscore clean underscore DB underscore free underscore space. Option C, SP underscore clean underscore DB underscore file underscore free underscore space. Option D, DBCC shrink file. Correct answer is option A. Our next question is you have an Azure SQL database server named SQL Server 1 that hosts 10 Azure SQL databases. The databases perform slower than expected. You need to identify whether the performance issues relates to the use of tempdb on SQL SRV1. What should you do? Option A run query store based queries. Option B, review information provided by SQL Server Profiler based traces. Option C, review information provided by Query Performance Insight. 
Option D, run dynamic management view based queries. Correct answer is option D. If you are preparing for any Microsoft based certifications, you can download the complete list of valid tried and tested questions and answers from the link provided in the description below.